Thousands of people descended on Uniondale, Long Island, to see former President Donald Trump in person. The former president rally packed Nassau Coliseum, where Trump claimed he had the support to flip New York in November. Let's get right to good days. Robert Moses is here this morning with more from the rally, and also the former president comparing himself to a music icon. That's right, Tashani and Dan. Good morning to you. Former President Donald Trump waking up at Trump Tower this morning. He will leave for Washington later on today to attend two pro-Israel gatherings there. Vice President Kamala Harris will be in Detroit to participate in Oprah's Unite for America live streaming event. The former president is treating New York like a regular old battleground state. We are going to win New York. In front of a packed Nassau Coliseum, former President Donald Trump promised to become the first Republican presidential candidate to win New York State since Ronald Reagan in 1984. He painted a bleak picture of a state and city ruined by Democratic leadership and in dire need of him. The former president spoke about being the target of two apparent assassination attempts. God has now spared my life. It must have been. God, thank you. Not once, but twice. At one point, he stopped mid-sentence, spooked by someone he saw approaching the stage. We will go in to a depression. I thought this was a wise guy coming up. You know, I got a little bit of a yip problem here, right? That was amazing. I I was all ready to start duking it out. At he then resumed laying out his plans. He vowed to restore the state and local tax deduction, or SALT, the same one that he himself capped in 2017, much to the chagrin of many taxpayers here in the tri-state area. I will cut taxes for families, small businesses, and workers, including restoring the SALT deduction, saving thousands of dollars for residents of New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey and other high cost states. Immigration was another theme. He said he will travel to Springfield, Ohio. He has falsely claimed that Haitian immigrants there have been eating pets. And he reiterated this intention. We will carry out the largest deportation operation of criminals in American history. Earlier, Vice President Kamala Harris addressing the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute seized on that. Imagine what that would look like and what that would be. How's that going to happen? Massive raids? Massive detention camps? What are they talking about? Back on Long Island, where he spoke for nearly an hour and a half, former President Trump compared himself to another man who performed at the Coliseum. I'm the greatest of all time, maybe greater even than Elvis, because Elvis had a guitar. I don't have a guitar. Moments ago, the New York Times, Philadelphia Inquirer, and Siena, and Siena College published new polling that shows this race is tied nationally, 47% each. Vice President Harris leads by four points in Pennsylvania, these polls show, and she received much stronger marks for her debate performance last week than he did. Dan and Tashani, back to you. All right, Robert, thank you.